Well, we've made our way into the kitchen with Miss Dina Hurd from Lulu's Tea Room. Ella joining us. Ella, do you like to bake? Yeah. What do you bake at your house? When I bake by myself, I take like sweet potato mm -hmm. and I put it in the oven and like when it comes out, you, you like open it and then you start to like mush it with your hands and then you like roll it in a ball. How about that? And she you, makes sweet potatoes. You put it on a tray and then you put like you sprinkle cinnamon on it. All oh my goodness, that sounds <laughs> delicious. She has I experience. love sweet, sweet potatoes. I love it. A few more years. I'd love to see her out at That's Lulu's. Hot. Well, maybe hey, so. Yeah, so awesome. great assistant today, Miss Ella. And this cake, it, it's gorgeous. You even hate to cut into it. Um, you said it's a basically a chocolate cake. But With some spice to it. Spice yeah, to I it. I mean, chocolate's always a good flavor, but this time of year you want something a little warm. And but so heat. I added some spice cake to it. And it's a very simple recipe and even the garnish is pretty simple. So okay. we'll just go over it all. And Ella said she would love to help me. So in this bowl, I have one Duncan Hines Devil's Food Cake Mix and a one half of a spice cake mix. Then we're gonna put in those five eggs. Would you like to go ahead and pour those in there for me? Sure. All right. A beautiful manicure too, Ella. That's beautiful. You like our snowman? I love it. And then we're gonna put in three fourths cup of oil. Ella doing a great job. She is. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Then we're going to do two cups of buttermilk, and that's the milk right there, honey. There's two. Mm -hmm. Both of them. I can only get about one cup in each, so there okay. you go. Good job. We're going to add that. She's going to be adding the second one, and while she's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and put in this small instant vanilla pudding. Okay. And that buttermilk just makes it really rich. It does. It makes it rich and moist. Okay. <clears throat> go ahead and put this vanilla pudding in there, and I'll go ahead and start the mixer. Okay. And we make sure that it's mixed real well. And once it's mixed well, we're going to put it in three nine inch pans mm -hmm. that have been sprayed. Uh, and we're gonna bake it at 350 for about 22 minutes. And with that spice cake, I tell you, it makes the kitchen smell delicious. Yeah, it does smell good. You can smell those spices in there in that spice cake. Well, we really don't have to finish mixing that today. Okay. We'll just go ahead and talk about the icing. And this is just the basic cream cheese icing yeah. that I make. Oh, yum. But I don't make as much because we wanted this to be rustic or mm -hmm. a lot of people call that a naked cake. And you actually see the chocolate spice cake coming through. But to get that amount of icing, we start with 12 ounces of softened cream cheese, a stick and a half of butter. Mm -hmm. And then once that's smooth, we would add in the four and a half cups of powdered sugar and two teaspoons of vanilla. But I'm not going to start that today. It'll just okay. be a big cloud. But mix it well. And then once the cake is cooled completely, we're going to put some between the layers and then just gradually take a knife and put it around the edges, leaving some of it exposed. Almost looks a little distressed there. And the topping really makes the cake. Right. And I'll tell you what that is. We have a uh, one half cup of water and one half cup of sugar. You just get it warm on the stove so that the sugar is dissolved and you put all the fruits that you want to use. Now this is actually rosemary that I use because I thought it looked like pine, but I wanted to use something that would work for the cake. So that's just some sprigs of rosemary, some blackberries, raspberries, strawberries, right. orange slices, and I even put a couple of cinnamon sticks in there. And strawberries. I, oh, there's strawberries uh -huh. on there too. And I coated those real well with that sugar water. I let them dry for one hour. Mm -hmm and then you just sprinkle a little extra sugar on there and it makes it look like snow, something great for this time of year. Yes, it's perfect. We'll go well, Ella, with your snowman that you're gonna show us how to build coming up in a little bit. I and her it. fingernails, she has a snowman on each thumbnail. Well, thank you so much for coming oh, on, Miss so Dina. So glad we to be here. It. A beautiful cake, certainly perfect for winter.